think we have to be careful with the term medical marijuana just because there that is part of the big problem and the misunderstanding that we have in the veterinary community with using cannabis based products so marijuana is a, a plant or a breed of the plants that we use that has a lot of THC component in it um, that has the potential for um, some pretty negative side effects side effects that we just don't want to deal with in our companion animals um, so kind of what we want people to be using maybe instead of the term marijuana is uh, either cannabis or hemp plants um, which is a higher concentration of of other cannabinoids such as CBD uh, some of the research going into that um, uh, comes from the human side. There's over 10,000 published human studies with using cannabis products uh, for varying ailments. Um, and then more, more recently in the veterinary field with companion animals, we have uh, universities such as Colorado State University doing uh, osteoarthritis and uh, neurologic studies looking at uh, CBD products. And then we have Cornell doing some really awesome PKPD studies, um, and they're kind of funded through Elevet Sciences, which is a nice, credible um, product. Uh, and they're doing um, uh, an osteoarthritis study. And they're also the first to be doing PKPD studies with cats, which is pretty big, because those guys always get left behind. Yes. Um, and then uh, Penn isn't really active with uh, their study anymore, but you know they were kind of looking at some cannabis products. And UC Davis has a survey study for owners. For, for owners. owners. And um, Don Booth is is looking at molecules, uh, looking uh, having to do with with cannabis um, out of Auburn University. I don't know that Dr. Booth has enrolled any any pets in Not her study this time. yet, but Not she at is this time. she's actively recruiting and de and designing her study right now. Right. So we are expecting to see a lot more research to come out uh, pretty recent, pretty soon actually, because more and more people are using these products, and veterinarians honestly are demanding research. Yeah. They want the evidence base so that we can recommend things safely and make sure that people are using the appropriate products for their pets. Absolutely. And I believe Don Booth's lab um, is also the one that has the, the assays for yes. uh, detecting levels of, of different cannabinoids in the, the system, which is super important, especially if we're going to be putting these animals on longer term uh, regiments of these, these supplements. Yeah, for sure.